Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Uh, I was just given this post, and I'm going to share the information with you, uh, but I'm going to point out some things because I'm really not sure what to think about this. We've heard the buzz about the possibility of Russian troops, and none of us uh, enjoy that thought. And make note of today's date, which is, what, July, whatever, 20th, 19th, Friday. Anyway, um, this post, July 3rd. So, yeah, maybe it takes a couple of weeks to get circulated around. Okay. And then we go down through here, and um, we look, reading it, talking about the Russian troops, 50,000. Uh, supposed source from the Department of Defense. Uh, there's a hundred thousand troops currently in training in the U.S. Um, so anyway, I, I wanted to check some of these links. The first one I click is uh, Ministry of uh, the Russian Federation for Civil R Defense released this. Uh, you know, they stated that this was true. So I click that. <laughs> And it brought me to RT, which always has to be in question just because of who they are, right? I mean, they're going to give us the other view, but <laughs> it's still their corporate view. And so, okay, I don't think I have to explain that. But look at the date, April 28th, 2012. Okay, edit it again on the 28th. Six hours later, 2012, that's over a year ago, okay? <laughs> and you're just being told about it now. So, and, and you're going to say, you're going to go right back to sleep because that's normal. They never tell us until after the fact. Yep. Well, uh, let's pull out something else that kind of really makes me wonder. When we read through this, we want to find out what the source is, right? a little well Paul Watson writing for prisonplanet.com that's the same as infowars.com you know that Alex Jones so the Russian propaganda machine is using Alex Jones as their source okay and you're not hearing about it till well, maybe Alex did mention something. I can't claim, you know, obviously Alex did say something about it back in 2012. But this is old news being circulated at a pivotal moment, okay, um, probably to anger people, probably to push you over the edge, okay. But you should have done something about this a year ago if you were going to do anything about it. I mean, it's never too late, obviously. No, I don't like the idea of troops being here. And they say uh, for disasters. Well, what kind of disaster would we have to be facing that we would need the help of the Russians? And I would hope they, if it was really a disaster, that they would come and help us. But I don't think they need to come here and plan for that ahead of time, do they? If they're just being friendly neighbors. You, you don't go to your neighbor's house and help them practice for a fire drill, do you? No. You wait. If the house is burning down, you run your ass down the street and you drag them out, of course. But you don't go train with them. It's just not. So, and we got this march coming up. So, obviously, the governments know that people are at a breaking point because we're coming to Washington. So, if they feed us plenty of information, especially if it has a grain of truth. So, this did have a grain of truth. Unfortunately, it's a fucking year ago that they're talking about... No reference to that in the post. Okay? And so what am I supposed to think of this? Do we worry about this? Or is this just... Are they trying to add straws so that you'll, your mind will be overwhelmed with frustration and you'll start making bad choices? Guess what I'm saying is we've got to be very wise. Uh, I don't really care if they're here or not because this is how it's going to go. Whether they're Russian or American... Any troop comes to me 
and threatens my life uh, if I don't comply with an unjust order, well, me and that individual ha have something to work out. One of us is going to leave, one of us isn't. That's how it's going to be. I hate to think like that, but that's the position I take. I don't care who you are. I don't care who your employer is. I don't care who, what, what gun you have, what you have. If you think I'm going to comply with unjust orders out of fear that you will kill me, you're, you're dead wrong. Bring a few of you. Bring extra bullets. That's all I'm saying. And it doesn't matter. Because life is not contained to this earth as far as I'm concerned. And so, killing me, I win. Because I get on to my goals and my place of being that isn't contained inside of an atmosphere. I'm happy with it. Tell you the truth. I'm happy with it. Got a whole big universe to explore. And I'm ready to go when the time is due. So I win. Well, you don't, don't kill me and you leave. Well, I win again. Doesn't matter. I don't lose. And that's, that's, that's how it, it, there's no other way for me to do it. And so, doesn't matter. But I'm just saying, you've got to start thinking, folks. And um, we've got to start, really, all of us here on YouTube, any alternative media sources, we really got to dig into shit. Because I think enough of you know that Alex Jones is already in question. And now, so, when we link to... And I like some of RT's stuff, because it does give you another view. And if they want to make you think something, and they may give you timely information that's absolutely correct, and something that you should act against. Yes, and so that's why I do look at their stuff. But when I see their source is somebody that has been identified as... Uh, controlled opposition for the American government, then what should I be thinking? What should you be thinking? So, there you have it. Russian troops on American soil. Been here for a year! <laughs> and does it really fucking matter? Doesn't matter to me. Okay? Doesn't matter to me. Because you're going to come to my house? Is that the idea? Well, you got your mission, I got mine. Let's get it on. Anyway, much love, many thanks. I'm going to link you to both posts so you can read these. I'm not even going to bother reading them all. I gave you the overview. Uh, I'm seeing this as propaganda to just finally push the masses over the edge so that they'll start making bad choices. Keep your heads about you. Push on. Defend what's right. Stand up for what's right. But keep you cool. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you.